Shooting one. Last touch by the Kentucky Wildcats. Goaltending violation on the University of Nevada at Las Vegas Ryan Rebels, number 34. Foul on number 14. That's his first personal foul. That's team foul number one. Get ready to start the game. I can't wait. East Tennessee State controls the opening tip. Stolen by number 33. Number 42 strips the ball away. Wow, well, look at that jam. That's Dipsy Dude. Dr. Rue, hold me back. I can't believe it.
going the other way. From long range. Number 35. Pulls up. Number 33 rebounds the miss. It's good. Mississippi controls the tip. Elevates for the J. Good. Mississippi has switched to a three-quarter court man-to-man -man defense. Bingo. Florida has switched to a half-court man-to-man -man defense. Number 10 for the steal. Tries the leaner. It's good. Pulls up the deuce. NBA range. Number 44 rebounds the miss. Drains it. Number 44 knocks the ball away. Fires the J. Count it. Tough shot. Number 45 is dominating the glass down low. Number 45 grabs the rebound. Nice steal by number double zero. Shoots the dead. Drills it. Number 11 was fouled and will go to the line. Number 11 is at the line shooting two. Number
rebound. Steal. To number four. Number 43 from the low post. He missed fire. The name of this game is to put the ball in the basket, and these two teams can do that. I can't wait to see the athleticism of some of these young guys out here. We're going to see a little bit of everything tonight. The inside scores from the spacing of the lane, the high risers, and of course, the rating of the trifecta. I'm all pumped up. Let's get this one started, baby. You're right, Dick. This one should be great. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nestler with Dick Vitale, here to welcome you to tonight's NCAA exhibition matchup between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Georgia Bulldogs. Goes in. Here it is. Excellent fake. Crosses him over. To the shooting guard. Let's it fly. Georgia Tech leaps for the rebound. He pushes it up the floor. He blinked and the guy left his feet. He got scorched and there was no help at all. Take their time looking to the coach to get the play call. The fake shoots a three-pointer, gets it to fall. How sensational is this, Brad? He got a piece of it. a hard drive to the hoop with the layup. It's Dunk City, baby. He makes a strong move to the rack. No good. He brings it down. Passes the rock. Nice little chair right there. Baby, these two 
rivals could barely contain themselves in the locker room. They want this game so badly. They're here to win and here to win big. Each team looking to simply crush the other's basketball spirit in an attempt to claim college basketball supremacy. Only one will be left standing, Brad. You said it, Dick. It's going to be wild in here tonight. Let's get this game started. The Tar Heels control the tip out of the gate. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. It's sheer pandemonium in those stands. It is amazing. And his shot block. The crowd on its feet and rattling the rafters. Hey, yeah, not to mention our table as well. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Number 42 is charged with the foul. He goes to the line. It's good. He hits it. shoot number 15 makes the finger roll He's trying to funnel him to the sideline take him to a trap there's the pick block shot usually creates momentum and opportunities working alongside my esteemed colleague Dick Vitale here to call this NCAA exhibition matchup between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Illinois Fighting Illini. The Tar Heels should be looking at a tough fight tonight, Dick. What have they got to do to win this thing? They've got to stick to their game plan and focus on these keys. First, it's imperative that you win the battle of the board. Next, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Lastly, the fans are going to be ready for this one. These guys have to block out the crowd and play their game. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. The Fighting Illini whip the tip, and they spring into striking distance. They're right on top of that pass. In and out. Number 15 for two. They can't seem to get the ball to go in tonight, Dick. They have to start making better passes and start going towards the basketball. Fantastic control for the deuce. See if they can get a good shot this trip. He's got a cutter to the hoop. Set that screen away. With the power dribble. To him down low, going the other way. Got the high pick. He'll regroup the offense. Step out on that screener. Defense stays at home with a switch off a nice screen. He keeps the dribble as they. Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Duke Blue Devils and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Number 21 is one of the X-Factors of this basketball club who can lead them to a win tonight. This is a kid you can build your team around, Brad. He can lock you up on defense, then come down to court and score on you on offense. The Tar Heels are going to have to have their best defenders ready for him tonight. The Tar Heels know they're looking at a good one tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them to win? I would think that the keys are as follows. First of all, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Second of all... Get the ball on the interior. See if he can get that big man into foul trouble. 
And lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. The fellas are really getting after it. They're hitting the floor now. That's a great effort play, Brad. Whether he gets the ball or not, it shows that he's willing and able to get down on the floor. And I think right now, I've got to focus defensively. The defender's doing a great job of playing ball pressure. They push it up on the break. Hammers it down. He's a human spaceship. He's all out of space, Mr. Nestle. Can you believe it? Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Number two is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. That's the first person. Team foul number one. The Smith Center is in complete chaos at the moment. Welcome to Chapel Hill, baby. This could be exciting. They are red hot. Musketeers. Number 54 is the freshman that will have the burden of taking his team to victory tonight. It's very hard to get a jumper off on this kid, Brad. And simply forget about taking him to the hole off the dribble. The Musketeers will have a daunting task trying to contain him, Dick. The Musketeers are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. Number one... Pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. Secondly, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. And lastly, play solid fundamental defense. And don't get caught gambling. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Way off target. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. The point guard handles the feed. with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes for the basket. The power forward receives the pass. Thinks about the shot. For two. I love this guy, Hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Nicky, the road to the championships become a little less crowded, but there still isn't enough room for both of these teams. Which team will become a casualty of the second round in this game between the Drake Bulldogs and the Connecticut Huskies? Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. Points of emphasis, Dick. What do you got for us? First off, Make it difficult for the offense by pressing them in the full court. If not in the full court, send double teams and traps at times when the dribbler least expects. It. Secondly, they must get in their wing players and post players to run the floor. If they do so, their point guard will then be able to make the hit ahead pass. Lastly, an offensive attack, which is balanced and all players are a threat to score, is very difficult to defend. All right, guys are in position, and we're ready for the tip. Play ball, baby. Play ball. The receiver tosses it up. And we're underway. Five-second call approaching. They're working around the perimeter. For the bucket. Up and in. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. 
Both teams looking to get things going here. Looking for a good shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Watch the replay, Brad. Welcome to CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. Today's game is between the Duke Blue Devils and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Here are a couple of players who will be looking to come out and make their presence felt. There's a look at the starting lineup. I really like that matchup at the point guard position, Gus. Part of the responsibility is to be the coach on the floor who will play well enough to lead their team to victory. And here's what the plan of attack is for either team in regards to tempo. We have two great teams ready to get it going here tonight. Anytime you have a matchup of this caliber, you can expect a great game of college basketball. I'm looking for these guys to come out and play hard from the jump ball to the final buzzer. Both these teams have something to prove and can do it here today on national TV. We're going to see a great matchup. Off the mark. Hits the glass offensively. How about that elevation? This guy is really known as a power guy. He's a banger, Gus. Uses that bulk and size to score in the three-second lane. In the post. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Gus Johnson. And joining me, the man with all of the insight, the governor, Bill Rafter. Both teams are looking to get something going here. The Blue Devils set up in their Princeton offense. Running that Princeton offense, it's so extended. It's a great system. You have to guard against the back cuts. It really forces you to work on defense. A tough system to defend as you can't relax for a second. On the outside. Fires. And he can't get the bounce. Grabs the rebound.